when it's on we try to lift it off so go uh, so guys welcome back to our work channel regarding hobbies today i'm going to do another video about something clearly hobbies and also making videos it's a drone with an entry level type drone this one is a dji telo uh, quite an old drone to be honest but i've been using this uh, for one year now and i think it's quite a thing for me to do a video about it i've been flying it uh, and i think it's quite interesting if i make one video about it so a very small drone uh, it can be flown about 30 meters from the set the phone and the setting is from 10 meter mm -hmm. to the maximum of 30 meter so it's quite good and it comes with a replaceable propeller but then we're not gonna talk about it and also the cage for this uh, propeller can be removed so in this video we're gonna do first how to connect with uh, the phone and second because this can be removed for outdoor activities it's better you remove the cage because uh, this is for protection for for the propeller if let's say you fly it indoor if let's say you don't protect the propeller it will hit the wall that is something we don't want to like, once it hits sometimes it will mess the flying coordination and the balance so let's tip it so that you won't uh, misplace or wrongly place the cage Easy tip, one tip, then two tip, this one will be three tip so that you know the, the location. And you know the coordinate of this sketch. Lastly, will be four. Tip. Uh, so the video or the picture, they they come with a casing, but mine they come with this. This is a standard one with a box so that you put in so that it fit in well but one time I didn't put in inside the box and some misaligned on the cage and the problem is that once it is uh, not in the right shape once you turn on the propeller it will hit some of this cage and that's a problem if you are flying outside it will affect your video especially sometimes if it is not aligned the problem is that your video will have some shaking effect that's something you want especially in the higher speed because the slow speed have a stabilizer but high speed they don't have that so we're gonna remove it see that there's a, two, a snap in button there so one one tape two tape three tape and four tip so now we're gonna put it that side so this is how it looks like without that cage next so the video for this entry level drone is not that high resolution it can only uh, give you 720p and 30 frame per second at a max of mbps so that's the video, not very good, but for the price, I think it's quite okay. For the picture, it's around 5 megapixel of condition of 25mm and f2.2. It's not really a good high resolution picture, but consider that this is entry level drone and it's not very new, it's like 5 years old drone. It still get the jobs done. So it comes with a, a battery, see here, it's just a battery. If you buy a new one, you can buy a combo set of battery. They provide you like two or three battery, so you can snap it in. So this is the button to start it. So it will light that up. So the color will be like this. If it is low or battery, it will be in red color. So how you gonna connect with your phone is first you need to install 
the apps Tello apps here you can see that Tello apps you can find it from the app store first you need to connect it turn on turn on your Wi-Fi surely it will connect directly to your home Wi-Fi you see that's the Tello there so you press the Tello button so you can see that it's already connected to the Tello Wi-Fi uh, Bluetooth to the drone but and then it will have this it will pop this Tello C9 D15 have no internet access so that means your drone has already been connected be in mind don't uh, don't don't go to the app first you need to connect with the drone first if you go to the app before you connect to the drone it will not function let me show you say so you try to open it without it become like this nothing so you need connect so now it is connected so basically you can see that you can see what the camera is showing us showing us the front and my camera setting so this is some of the button that they have first is the lift off so once you lift it off put it back a bit, a bit like this how the lift it off i think i need to use it outside because there's other setting that i wanted to try so let us uh, put it back down It goes down here back again. So same as this. Let's put it down. There you have simple drone landing and lift off and connection. So we try to use it outside so we can have clear picture how the drone is moving. So it goes like that, not that high. Just enough. Got windy here. See that? My phone. The drone is facing me and the camera. So you can see that. So try to. Go up. Try to make it 50 meter up. should go higher to 30 meter but I'm so now it's going down landing so let's try the other figure uh, configuration they have let's try so they have a few things if you press this I'm not sure if you can see it There are a few configuration there. The method that they have three So this one is uh, up and away so you can see that it is moving. It is moving in cycle. So you see that? In circle. It looks kind of st stable without that cage. So now it's stand back at the first point. Bounce up and down. See this? It go up and then it go down. Up and now this is uh, fully automated. So by using this app, you can generate that so turn it off I have other things like 360 this one is it will spin uh, at the same spot 360 that the, the motion is uh, quite stable you can look here so you can see that the motion that they capture is 
is uh, quite stable while it is moving 